for another night of Marillion? Yeah. Hooray! My name's Lucy and I will be your host tonight for an audience with... Hello. As always, the band don't know what I'm going to ask them, what's going to happen, which adds to the fun. There'll be a little bit of audience participation, so I'm looking forward to you all joining in. But I can't do this alone, so let me welcome to the stage, in no particular order, Petra Wavis! <laughs> Ian Mosley! And last but not least, Steve Hogarth! I love you, Steve! That is truly scary. God. <laughs> Evening? Oh, oh, nightmare. Oh, dear. Ah, that's fucking spooky. That's really spooky, yeah. That's oh, always. my days. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> If you can't see, like the, the front row are all wearing Steve Hogarth masks. <laughs> oh, and a few others. <laughs> that one's upside down. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's more like it. That's later the same evening. Yes, later the same evening. Well, we're going to start with the way we always like to start. We're, I'm going to shout out the names of the countries that I know are attending, because we do like to see where you're all from. Well, leaving a few so, let's start with Argentina. Lost his voice at the top there. You've got to shout louder. Austria. Slightly better. Australia. Yeah, always a good, always you know very on, cool. Cheer louder. Bulgaria. <laughs> this is a big hit, this. Isn't it? The Channel Islands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and there's a fiver. Denmark. <laughs> Egypt. In the curry house, obviously. England! <laughs> oh dear. Were you Scottish? Because you know you're going to get me. France! Germany! Bonsoir. Gibraltar! <laughs> India! Indonesia! Hey! Ireland! Italy! Malta! Oh. I'm really worried that these people didn't make their flights. <laughs> Mexico! Good evening. Netherlands! New Zealand. Well done. Norway. Northern Ireland. Poland. Oh, it's going to be booing now, isn't there? Scotland. Oh, come on. Let's be nice. Let's be nice. I'll try again. Scotland! Hooray! Oh no! You're mean! Sweden! Switzerland! Woo! Ukraine! <laughs> and finally, Wales. Yorkshire. 
Yeah. South Riding. <laughs> we're on a, we're on a, um... Finland! I forgot the Finns. Sorry, didn't mean to forget the Finnish. Right. This audience with, we're actually going to start with some questions. Lovely. I never normally do that. Lovely, lovely. Is Rob Walker here? I've got Rob's question. Rob says many bands have riders, i.e. something in the dressing room for before or after a gig. What are the requirements of the band? Well. <laughs> there used to be this actress called Sarah Miles. Um, and before her untimely passing, she left quite a lot in her will to me. And uh, I'm consuming it one glass at a time. <laughs> um, so that's on the rider. And um, there's usually salads that nobody eats. The French, he gets those, puts them in the chiller, and uh, they're usually there and he throws them away again at the end of the night. But it makes us feel good about ourselves. Um, then there's a, a nice bottle of red wine for Mark. Yeah. Or two. Well, maybe. <laughs> two. Or, or two. Or two. Uh, what else? They're usually not nice, though. <laughs> he pours them away if they're not good enough. No, he, the, Mark pours them down the sink with the salad. And um, then there's a bottle of Cuervo Gold tequila. And who would that be for? That's for me and Sarah. <laughs> Red Bull, some beers in case we have guests. And what is there for you, Pete? Um, Diet Coke and Red Bull. Not together, not together. I, I usually have a Red Bull before we go on stage. It's the energy drink of the band, isn't it? It is. Red Bull. I yes. have to say, I never drink this stuff, it's horrible. Oh no, it's horrible, that's not the point. I quite like it, though. I've, I've got used to it. I quite like the taste. The next question is from Nathan Page. Are you here, Nathan? Yes. Yes. Nathan says, several years ago during a Q&A, the band were asked if they could go to an... Um, I'll put my teeth in. They were asked if they could go to another artist's weekender. Who would they go to? And most of them said, girls are loud. <laughs> Now girls, but now that. you did. Now girls allowed are no longer an active group. Who is your preferred girl group of choice? <laughs> I don't know. Quite like a bit of K-pop now and again, so. <laughs> Can you name any K-pop bands? No, no I can't. You just trying to be cool and with the kids there, weren't you? Yeah. I just said that because I've heard about K-pop. Do you even know any girl bands? No. Not these days. Well, apart from the Spice Girls, that's about it, I'm afraid. Yeah, there's the... Uh, who's that lot? The Sugar Babes, isn't it? She's a good singer. Well, they split up and then they got back together and then they split up. I'm not sure if they're back together, but let's have Sugar well, Babes. Well, next time they get back together, <laughs> we'll go. <laughs> Mark Greenwood, are you here? Yes. Oh, it's like being at school, isn't it? Yes. Present. Mark says, if the band could choose one of their songs to go smash it, triple fucking platinum viral all over the world, what song would they choose and why? You didn't say fucking, I added that bit. This strange engine for the royalties. <laughs> that would be a stretch, wouldn't it? I mean, that could never happen anyway. But... I mean, you know, maybe if it was used in a TV series or a film or something, you know, just um, more bloody people heard of us, really. When we're writing, normally, uh, we write by jamming, and every now and again, something really commercial comes up, and they all put it straight in the bin. <laughs> no, I'll be having that. <laughs> Not always. Oh, we saved it for Pete's K-pop album, though. Well, probably. <laughs> probably. Marillion do K-pop. I don't think so. You never know, do you? Yeah. Done everything else. <laughs> most, most toys. <laughs> most toys. <laughs> okay, uh, most toys gets mentioned at every Q and A. Shout if you actually like it. Yeah! There you are. 
Shout if you don't like it. You're all fucking wrong. Mark, did you just shout at no? No, no, I was listening intently to see whether or not we'd have to actually play it. <laughs> Is um, Nicole Errol here? Nikki. There you go, Nikki. Nikki says, as we are all aware, travel to Marillion weekends means meeting up with friends that we fans have made all over the world. And there is such a sense of friendships that have been made through these weekends. Some marriages and business contacts as well. For the band, what is a connection that you have made, professionally or personally, that has enriched your life through the travel you do? Um, Good question, Nikki. Met Rick Armstrong. He's uh, enriched my life, along with his deceased father. Are that you was, here, Rick? It's very enriching. Where is he? I think he is. Yeah, he's Rick probably is asleep. He's hiding. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, no, he is there. <laughs> he's in. Yeah. It was lovely to meet Rick. That never would have happened. Not yeah, I'll second that. Yes. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's, it's, go. No, it's just, you know, you, you travel the world for 40 years, you make some great friends, and uh, it's one of the things that makes it bearable, really. Oh. It's a tough life otherwise. Oh, no, it is. No, you, you, you yeah. just get lonely. Yeah. 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 Try, try not to let your hearts bleed all over the floor. <laughs> the thing is, what happens, you see, you, quite often on the road, because we spend so much time with each other, you, you have, a, have a day off and you send the message around on WhatsApp or whatever. Anybody want to go out for dinner? Tumbleweed. <laughs> so it's, yeah, it's, it's but we're sick of it in tumbleweed night yeah, after well, yeah. <laughs> But, you know, so it's nice to have other people you can call. It's nice it. to have backup friends, <laughs> yeah. is Pro what you're saying. Yeah. Proper friends, Proper that's what you're trying to say. <laughs> Every Christmas, <laughs> Steve Rothery sends around a WhatsApp message yeah. and yeah. says, should we have a Christmas meal? And we all oh, go, yeah. no. Yeah. <laughs> Bar humbug. Yeah. He is normally the first to reply. We and thought we'd like to buy the staff that? dinner, we say, and they all go, oh, no, it's all right, really. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you did off once, and we all went, no, it's fine. Thanks. No, it's fine. Anyway, is um, Rich Davies here? Yes. yes. Okay, Rich says, would the band say congratulations to me and Bren on our wedding, please? It, oh, wait, 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 wait. It was last weekend, and we're here on our honeymoon. Oh. Hey. Congratulations. Congratulations. It's lovely. I've got a good mind to invite you to our Christmas dinner. He, he also says, no worries if not, but you don't get anything if you don't ask. Well, because you are so nicely, if you just make your way down to that door, Stephanie will be waiting with a card and a present. Of the money we normally use on the staff dinner. Is Sue Beasy here? Uh, that was a yes, 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 miss. Sue says two or three band members often come out to mingle with the fans, be it at the venue or in a bar, as it was in Montreal. Do they pull straws for this? And if so, is winning? <laughs> and if so, is winning considered the short or the long straw? <laughs> That used to be known as the walk of shame. Um, that's collectively uh, the term for it in rock and roll. If you go out, you know, sniffing around the punters, that, that's the walk of shame. Um, yes, carry on, Steve, carry on. Well, it, it is Ian that is the lesser spotted Mosley, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's usually... What, what do you always draw bed, the but... long story? And... Yeah, more people have seen the Yeti, I think, than... Uh... <laughs> Since the smoking ban, it's tricky, isn't it? <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't think we got an answer to that one, but we'll leave it there. Um, is Alberto Lago here, please? Yeah. I'm here. Alberto says, what subject would each of you choose to answer in a, about in a game show? 
So no. your specialist subject. Alberto Lago. Largo. Largo? L-O-G-O. I know how to spell it. Largo, yeah? <laughs> Alberto Largo, not La Lego. Not Lego. Not He's Lego. not a Lego character. So he says, what, sub what subject would be your specialist subject? What in? I think you've got your I'm answer. I'm literally you? sitting here and they're not listening to me. <laughs> Years of practice. Mine would be the, the greater self accrested cockatoo. That would be your specialist subject? Yeah. I thought it was the African grey. Or African grey, yeah. Or any of the parrot species. <laughs> <laughs> that's just weird. Dead or alive. H? We're talking. I happen to know that's true. He's not even yeah, joking. I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, me, specialist yeah. subject. Yeah. Gardening. I'd oh, say. I don't know. Lyrics. Probably. Lyrics before 1990. <laughs> <laughs> At which point I lost interest. What your own? No, anybody's. Oh. Mark. <laughs> I'm going to say Marillion, even though I'm not very good at it. <laughs> <laughs> Pete. Well, I'd probably say the Beatles, because I'm most knowledgeable about the Beatles, I think. Out of anything else. Mr. R? Mm, photography, I'd say. By the passion mm. of music. Mm. Man Ray. Alison mm. Higgins. Mm. Oh, Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! Alison Higgins says, on my way down to the Aylesbury gig last September, travelling alone from Crewe, I found myself sitting next to a lovely couple. We got chatting and they were keen to know where I was heading. The usual Marillion discussion ensued and it turned out the couple had bought their very first house from none other than Mr. Steve Rothery. Oh. Have the band ever bought anything from anyone famous? Did you I did. Ask? Thomas Dolby. Well, it's actually was his family home, his parents' home, but yes. Many years ago. He bought Thomas Dolby's parents' family home. That's the best I could do. <laughs> it's not bad, is it, really? But, you know, there is a little keyboard connection there, which I thought was quite cool. Science! You are Science. lying. You're, you are telling the truth, aren't you? No, I am telling the no. truth. Truth or lie? Anyone? True. No one? No one bought anything? No. No, no I remember. You, you had that bloke from the Antiques Roadshow, didn't you? Come and look at your house. Or did I dream that? <laughs> The one with the best. This is where the tequila comes yeah. in. The one with the, ch <laughs> the Chinese. The Sarah Miles, that is. Yeah. I didn't buy anything from him, he just came around to get pissed. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you know that, that house I just mentioned, my next door neighbour was Hillary from the Antiques Roadshow. She was. Oh, that's spooky. <laughs> she was once very kind to me on Christmas Eve. <laughs> we won't go there. I'm that moving good, swiftly on. Sure. Is Andy Killing here? He's not, but I'm going to ask his question anyway because I like it. Andy Killing in the name of. What sock do you put on first in the morning, left or right? Right. Right. Left. Right sock. Definitely. Left. So, right. Right, I think. Right. Yeah. Left ish or right. <laughs> it depends, you know, as the mood takes you. Oh. Ian? Right. Right. Definitely left. Definitely left. There you go. Well, I've been doing some research since Leicester, and uh, that is just a blatant lie. I definitely put my left sock on first. In the mornings, it's like that. Uh, so it's left, not right. <sighs> Who can you trust? <laughs> Nobody's ever asked me that. No one's ever asked you that? No. It's not that interesting, is it? It's a hell of a question. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to ask, and what's the significance? I don't... Well, if he was here, we could ask uh, him why he asked, but he's not here. That probably means something. Sarah yeah, Bridgman says, either. would you ever do Eurovision? Yes. Yes. In a heartbeat. No. Four piece? Why not? What? I mean, why not, why really, not? if you're asked? You'd get on TV around the world. Something I, was, I, I wouldn't do it, I was joking. Wait, would you not do it? No. So Pete says yes, I, Mark I says no. Yeah, Rothers? 
No, Ian. No, no. H. Not at the point of a gun, no. no. <laughs> You're on your own. Pete. I'm on my own, aren't I? <laughs> Bell in the sea. <laughs> with no vocals. I'd do a K-pop version, obviously. <laughs> So I'm going to end on a a, a lovely, ridiculous question from Val Stewart. You hear Val? Yep. Val says, this has probably been asked before, but if you were a biscuit, what biscuit would you be? (laughs) Have you ever been asked that one before? No, that's a new one. Biscuit. Biscuit. I would be a McVitie's milk chocolate. <laughs> you can't go wrong. You just can't go wrong. Jammy Dodger. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'd be controversial and get into that cake or biscuit thing and say a Jaffa cake. <laughs> That's not a biscuit. It's a biscuit. Mark? Gary Baldy. <laughs> <laughs> Gary Baldy. Your name's not Gary. <laughs> Ian? I have no idea. <laughs> The, the ones with lots of chocolate on, what are they called? Oh, the Fox's, Fox's, Fox's chocolate, chocolate ones. Yeah, oh. nice. <laughs> See, I'd have had you down biscuit. as a custard cream. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now it's time for a quick game. Oh. We played this in Italy and it was rather good, so I thought we'd do it again. Slide one, please, Jens. Just to explain, what I'm going to be doing is play, and you mustn't help them, okay? They're, they will need help, but don't help them. I'm going to be playing a video of, and it's going to be silent, and I want the band to tell me what song it is that they are performing. So video one, please, first is for Pete. Bass, you're playing bass, Pete. <laughs> I think I am. I might be. Um, Crow and the Nightingale, maybe? I don't know. Is that your answer? Yeah. I Can I have know. video Copy two, please, Jens? Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> it's because his parts are all the same. Steve! <laughs> Only so many notes, right? <laughs> but at least they always work. Steve Rothery, video three, please, Jens. Oh, here we go. Uh, Bit of an note bend there. No, but, oh, yeah. <laughs> Do I mean, we have an answer? I have no idea on that one. I mean, they've all got guitar solos in, haven't they? So. Video four, please, Jens. Now it's now who who got it right in Italy? Pete got it right. Steve got it right, and Mark got it right. Okay, Steve H, it's your go. Video five, please, Jens. Is it Bruce Forsyth? Oh, video's stuck. Oh Was it stuck? Oh, I get more than. <laughs> Which song are you singing? <laughs> Technical difficulties. What is the sounds on? <laughs> yeah, I know. Technical difficulties. <laughs> it wasn't this train is my life. Hooray! <laughs> I wouldn't have got it otherwise, to be honest. You wouldn't? No, not at all. Okay, this one's for Mark Kelly and we'll hopefully have no sound and will not jam. Video seven, please, Jens. Good luck with that. Come on, Mark. (laughs) No. No clue. Video eight, please, Jens. Still don't know it. (laughs) And finally, Ian. Come on, Ian, you've got to get yours. Video nine, please, Jens. Oh, that's easy. 
Go on in, go on in. There's clues, there's clues. Clues flying out, come on. Uh, what's your guess, what's your guess? Big success, this, isn't it? You did so well in Italy. Does anyone else know? Come on, Amy. King, King. No. Is it? Is it be hard on yourself? No. There's just a little k there, wasn't there, on the, on the Chinese? Go on, what was it? No. Tie a yellow ribbon. <laughs> Video 10, please, Jens. Ah. Uh. for the Great. one that didn't work. <laughs> yeah, we're just rubbish, aren't we? <laughs> right. I'd also like to revisit a Your little... specialist subject as well, Mark. I yeah. was expecting better. <laughs> oh, yes. I'd also I like to... I that was no good. I'd also like to revisit a little game that we played in Montreal last year. Slide two, please, Jens. We're going to be playing Mr. and Mrs. Oh. I asked each of your wives a question. Let's uh, see uh, if your answers match up with theirs. What are the chances of that, eh? Which wife? Your first one. I still haven't lived down the last lot of questions. <laughs> Just before we went on, on stage tonight, Pete said to me, don't do anything that will get us divorced. And I giggled to myself. And Fiona's actually sitting down here in the pit. Don't mouth your answers to them. Yeah, she hasn't left yet. OK. The There's first time. question what I asked them was, what would he say you would end up in jail for? Mark, what did Karina say? Oh, God. It's just a big choice there, really. <laughs> oh, probably, you know, armed robbery or something like that, you know. No, she actually said, if someone did something to hurt my family. That's so sweet. And it's true. <laughs> Steve Rothery, what did Joe say? Speedy. She actually said, I would go to jail for ducking under a barrier and looking guilty. <laughs> <laughs> what did Lynetta say, please, H? Probably some kind of border issue. Um, <laughs> non no, not what you would end up in jail for, what she would end up in well, jail she for. she would end up in jail for. I misunderstood the question. Oh, yeah, me too. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, in that case... Can we start again? I give a different Let's answer. Let's start again. <laughs> Ducking under a barrier. What would you say that Karina would end up in jail for? If, if anybody did anything to her family. <laughs> hey! Steve Rothery, what would Joe end up, say, end up in jail for? Ducking under a barrier. Correct. H. What kind of barrier is that, then? Is it like at Heathrow? Yes. Oh, I see. Um, what would Lynetta have be put in jail for? Yes. God. Um... <laughs> yeah, <my> mum... <laughs> she never mows the lawn. That's, that's ne that, it wouldn't be that. Um... Failure to pick up dog poo. That's not illegal, is no. it? Um... Can be. She's... I have no idea. I mean, she I just said, can't imagine her being... if anyone hurt vibes. Oh, of course, yeah. We're not, you know, go and she also said, you, we would have had plenty to choose from if this was about Steve. I don't <laughs> <laughs> What did she say? What? Say that again. She would... <laughs> we would have had plenty to choose from if the question was about you. Yes. Yes, indeed. Yes. Pete? Well, I can't, I can't believe she hasn't I mean... strangled vibes already, to be honest. <laughs> What would Fiona be likely to put in jail for? I can't think of anything apart from if somebody hurt a family. Because she didn't say that. She said accidentally speeding. 
Oh, okay. Ah, accidentally. <laughs> accidentally. Yeah, she does accidentally speed. They don't put you in jail for accidentally speeding, do they? They put you in jail for driving roughly four times the speed limit. Accidentally. No, I, Accidentally. I, I haven't been in jail yet for that. I was doing 300 miles. Ian, <laughs> what, would I, what would I likely be sent to jail for? Oh, <laughs> carefully. I don't know if everyone actually knows this, but Ian and I are actually married and have been married for 18 years. <laughs> Does, Ian knows this, does he? I don't know, Pete. What a time to spring that on him in front of all these people. Well, that explains a lot. That might explain a few things. Time fly. Um, uh, if anyone being cruel to animals? Well, yeah, but I actually said... I'd be put in jail for swearing at someone I shouldn't swear there at. There you go. Oh, yeah. oh, but I was thinking that myself, actually. Yeah, I, th I thought right. about Right, quick answers on She's these She's got a ones. mouth like a sewer. She's on her best behaviour, I tell you. Oh, you know, sorry. It's just the truth. Quick answers on this one. Right, start with H. 18 years, Jesus. <laughs> Don't applaud him, you just encourage him. If, so H, if Lynetta could choose any superpower, what would it be? <laughs> uh, any superpower, it would probably be, answer, uh, you know, that Star Trek thing, you know, where you go in the tube and it snows and you turn up somewhere else. Teleportation. That. No. She said peace, so there'd be no wars or poverty. Oh, what a lovely girl. What did Fiona say, Pete? <laughs> What's the question? Sorry. Oh, for he, fuck's he took sake. so long, I've forgotten. What would Fiona's superpower be? Superpower. Oh, Turning everything to gold. I'm sure it wasn't that. She said, no, invisibility so I could sneak into places for free. Oh, uh, that's, that's a good answer. Mark, what did Karina say? Turning into a lioness at will to protect her family. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's deep. Or super tidiness and cleanliness so I could keep the house always in pristine condition. That would be a good one. <laughs> Steve up. To be able to be in more than one place at a time. Yes, she said, teleportation. Uh, and what would... That's not and me? Ian, what did I say? I would have gone that way as well. Teleportation? Yeah. I actually said I'd like to be able to fly, so near as damn it. Oh, super well. So, uh, let me go... Right. You, uh, stop, look at Pete, he's going, oh... Oh, what's she going to ask now? If they won the lottery, what would they buy first? Bass guitar. <laughs> <laughs> that's my answer. Yeah, no, that's fine, but... Uh, what, Fiona, Fiona would buy a bass guitar? Oh, is that... Wait, wait a minute, what's... Oh. If they won the lottery, what would they buy first? What if we talk, we talk about the girls? The girls. It's Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> All right, OK. I thought you were asking them what we'd buy first. Yeah, what would, what would Fiona buy first? <laughs> no, she wouldn't buy a bass guitar. She would not do that. Uh, uh, Anyone got an answer? For, you've all got the same question. I think Lynetta would buy one of those big helicopters that's got the two things that go that way. <laughs> she likes those. No, she said she would pay off the kids' mortgages. Ah, oh, what about ours? <laughs> <laughs> Steve Rothery. Yeah, a house for our son and daughter. And that's exactly what she said. <laughs> Pete. Yeah, I, I think that's what Fiona would do, well, That's actually. exactly what yeah. she said. Uh, Mark, what did Karina say? House. 
for whoever needs one. <laughs> she said, a bit wishy -washy, it's a very long answer. She said, I would buy a bound conversion in England, a house in Portugal and one in Brazil and split our time between the three countries. So three houses. <laughs> yeah. So there you are, Mark. That's, that's what your goal is. And Ian, what did I say? <laughs> um, probably a house with a big room just for the dogs. No. <laughs> a house with a big room just for me. <laughs> no. A long way away. A long way away. <laughs> Now, I said I'd buy a first-class plane ticket to somewhere really hot. Uh, but you, you do, do that already. You do that, anyway. yeah. <laughs> yeah, you do that most, most days. Yeah. And final question for the Mr and Mrs Round. Now, so this it's about is, them, isn't it? Not this us. is a point... This is... Yeah. It's about them now. Th it's about them, and it's a pointed question, so pay attention. Where would they love to go on holiday at least once? I've got your backs, ladies. Hawaii. Did Fiona say Hawaii? She didn't. She oh. said it would have been the Maldives, but as we went last year, I've always fancied going to Cape Cod. So write that one down. <laughs> Cape what Cod. What did the letter say, eh? Australia. I'd imagine. Where? Australia. <clears throat> she did. Congratulations. <laughs> What did Karina say, Mark? I'm saving well, up. Well, I would have said the Maldives, but, but if we've already been there, and we have, I remember, um, can't have that. So I'm going to have to say some other place in the sun. It's going to be somewhere hot, basically. Doncaster. She's, <laughs> she said we've already been, but I think the Maldives is still my favourite and would love to go again. But if a second time's not allowed, I'll go to Turkey. Oh, well, mm. since... Um, President Erdogan just won the election. You just got <laughs> in, lovely there. <laughs> Steve Rothery. Tuscany. Sicily or Athens? <laughs> Make a note of that. Ian. <laughs> <laughs> Ian. Well, we, you said you wanted to go back to the Maldives. Maybe we can get a group discount. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Through a residency. Charge for a plane. Do we all need to go to the Maldives? Yeah. yeah. Uh, was, was that the good answers? Yeah. <laughs> Fabulous. Let's do a tour there. Christmas, Christmas dinner in the Maldives. Yes. Oh, I'd way say yes to that one. Would you know? <laughs> right. Um, I would like to invite a few people up onto the stage. So I'm going to say your name and if, cheer if I say your name because then I know you're here. Shane Egan, yep, could you make your way to that lovely green sign where the lovely Stephanie will be waiting to bring you on the stage. And keep his spot. Don't go, and, Yeah, keep you know, their spot. He's got to get back there, all right. Sean and Brian. Sean and Brian. Sean and Brian. Sean and Brian gone for a shag. Mr. Jones, Greg and Laura, Greg and Laura Watley, was that a yes? Come on down. Um, Taya, Lars and Taya from the web Scandinavia. Yeah, over that way. And then you'll see where I'm going with this. Ian Bartlett, Ian Parry, Ian Williams, Ian Cartwright, uh... Ian Trott, Ian Mantle, Ian Lister, Ian Walford, Ian Maidley, Ian Cromack, Ian Pollock and Ian Greenway. What the fuck? <laughs> Football team. Is it, what is it? Well, you have to wait and see. Oh. While they all make their way up onto the stage, I will... Why was there only two tyres and 47 Ians? You'll see. All right, all right. While they make their way up to the stage, I just want to say well done to all of you. And to Sheila, Lucy, and Denise, Karen, Bob, Nicola, and Tony from the all oh, from the Web UK, and all the charity volunteers who have raised money for the Hospice of St Francis this weekend, in honour of a wonderful Merlion fan, Chris Took, 
who also worked there as their cook. You have raised so far, and the charity stall is still open, you've raised over £3,000. Thank you. Right, let's move the chairs. We're actually going to the Maldives with that money. <laughs> let's move the chairs out the way. And please welcome to the stage to take these photographs the wonderfully talented Anne Marie Forker. <laughs> right, have I got any of my winners, Stephanie? Hello, Stephanie. Excuse me a second. Um, tell them a joke. <sighs> Hello. A joke. Can I have a winner? So there was a competition um, that the uh, Oxford English Dictionary um, put out uh, because there'd been a great deal of um, debate over the definition of the terms complete, finished, and completely finished. Um, it, it had been very difficult to define the difference between complete and finished. Um, and so, <laughs> a competition was launched. Hang on, I'm not done yet. Is it a joke, though? It will be eventually, oh. yeah. <laughs> when he thinks of a punchline. <laughs> <laughs> the prize was eventually uh, won by um, a man from Ghana who uh, said, um, when a man meets the right woman, he is complete. When a man meets the wrong woman, he is finished. <laughs> and when the wrong woman meets the right woman, he's completely finished. <laughs> Thank you, Guy Vickers. So this is the winner of Have Your Photo Taken on the Stage with the Band. Please welcome Shane Egan. So Jens, can you do the light thing? Yeah, that's the one. We all want your hands in the air, in the back of the photo. Right, ready? What? Oh, hang on. No, she needs to get up. And stay! Thank you. Round of applause. Okay, this is um, Greg and Laura. Greg has recently retired after 35 years as an NHS doctor and has been an active fan for the same amount of time. Laura wrote to me and said, I was wondering if there was anything special I could arrange for him or any way of meeting the band. Come on then. Do the arms in the air again. One, two, three, arms up! Norwegians. Norwegians. Did 
Sean and Brian ever turn up or are they still shagging? Sean and Brian, still not here. Oh well, sure. right. They're here. Uh, this uh, is the web Scandinavia. Now they won a photograph on stage with the band last year in Sweden, but poor Mr. H was ill. And we didn't want to take a photograph with just four of them, even though the other four are wonderful. So let's do it. Uh, web uh, Scandinavia. The Norwegians cheer for Norway. <laughs> Smile at Anne Marie. One, two, arms up. Thank you. Sean and Brian. Sean and Brian, everyone, they finished? Right. Sean wrote me a message. You better listen to this, Brian. Sean wrote me a message. It said, I'm contacting you to inquire about a possible shout out at the upcoming concert at De Montfort Hall on the 27th, 28th of May. It'll be my husband's and I's 25th wedding anniversary. Hooray! His name is Brian. My name is Sean. Please could you tell him I love you with all my heart and where's your credit card? <laughs> Give her a kiss. <laughs> Let's have a photo. <laughs> Thank you. And finally, lots of people called Ian. Come on, the Ians. Right, I don't need the rest of the band for this, just Ian. I couldn't help but notice on Facebook there was a thread, someone called Ian posted and two people called Ian replied and it really made me giggle. So I looked up on the Facebook group how many people were called Ian and I've just invited them all on the stage to have a photograph <laughs> with Ian. We're all individuals. Right, so Ian. Yes, I ah, love it. You gotta be in the middle, Ian, Ian. Oh, he's taking a selfie. There's no need, look. Arms in the air for the Ians. Oh, hang on, no, premature arm raising. There we go. One, two, three, Ian! One more, Ian! Thank you. Bye, Ian. Ian, 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 Ian. Off you go. Where's me? Right. One of them said his name was Dave. We've got... <laughs> oh, they're all shaking hands. Yeah, yeah. That was brilliant. <laughs> Is actually anyone else called Ian? Uh, uh, next time. I was going to do Steve, but I think there's a lot of Steve, isn't there? Who's called Steve? Pete? Who's called Mark? 
See? Well, there you go. Next time. Right, band, come back. Sorry. We're just... Uh, the, they're just going to go and lie down in a dark room before we do... Um, but I've got one more thing. My, um, my friend Merlin, who a few of you have met, who is from Montreal, his husband wrote to me and said, could I get the band to record a happy birthday video? And I thought it would be really nice if I got the audience in as well. So I'm going to get you five to stand there and say happy birthday, Merlin, and then I'm going to zoom out. Jens can put the lights on and we'll all cheer happy birthday. Sound like a plan? Is it Merlin, you know, like the wizard? Merlin like the wizard. Merlin, uh, he had hippie parents. It, yeah, he must have done. Got yeah. some very powerful yeah. fans, haven't we? You do know Merlin. Ah, uh, yeah. I remember Merlin. <laughs> right, so you go and stand there and everyone shush until I, I stick my hand up and say go. What are we doing now, darling? Stand there with your backs to the audience. That's it. So all of you cheer when H finishes saying happy birthday to Merlin on the video, okay? You got a video? I can do that, I'm a professional. <laughs> Hello Merlin. How are you? Have you put a spell on anyone lately? <laughs> We'd like to wish you all a happy birthday from Leicester de Montfort Hall. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Bloody Sun. Wait, wait. a wonderful audience and we hope you have a fantastic time tonight the band are on fire we all know that let's have a great time bye Thanks.